Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get uh, some messages from our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. It's been a minute since we've done that, and I want to see how they want to direct us or any advice they want to give us moving forward. I feel like things are going to start moving very quickly after we have that Uranus-Jupiter conjunction on the 20th, and then we also have Mercury going direct on the 25th. Soon after that, we will have Mars entering into Aries, and we are now also going into Taurus season. So a lot of changes in the sky, planet shifting signs. And so let's see what our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors have to say about that inner child healing. Okay, you guys, I feel that that's what we've been working on, okay? So I feel like since 2020, we have been doing a lot of internal work, you know, childhood wounds, you know, all of that kind of shit have really come to the forefront. We started, you know, it started raising awareness as to the types of relationships or why we chose certain jobs or why we didn't set healthy boundaries. And, you know, so what we've been doing is trying to like really go within to come to some type of conclusions of what it is that needed healing in order for us to be able to move forward. So I feel like if you're just now starting this, you're late, <laughs> you know, like you're, you should have already been doing this from 2020 up until this point, because as we move forward with all these planets shifting into different houses and, you know, different signs and whatever else, this is a time for outward manifestation. So depending on all this healing that you've done is going to depend on where, you know, what you're going to receive and how the universe is going to finance the next chapter of your life. Does that make sense? Okay. So <clears throat> I feel like this, like I said, this is already stuff that should have been done. Now, listen, that doesn't mean that it's never too late to heal. But what I'm saying is, is if you were just kind of sleeping on it, knowing damn well that you should have been working on that because you know, especially if you've been following my channel for a long time, we've talked a lot about healing, you know? Um, but I mean, you are never too late. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I really hope you're a lot further along than just now starting your inner child work. Okay. You should be on to your inner teenage brat by now. So spirit, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what is the most important messages the collective needs to know moving forward? Yeah. See, it's time to go. All of that childhood crap. Stop fucking blaming your parents for all your unfortunate circumstances. You chose your parents before you stepped foot into this existence, okay? So all that shit's got to go. It's time. You've been carrying this long enough. You don't get to keep blaming other people. It's time for you to take some responsibility, work through those issues, and it's time to move on, okay? Okay. I see so many people still fucking sitting around blaming their parents. And it's like, you know, listen, you can do that. You can also make amends with your parents. You know, you know, we think as children, oh, our parents are supposed to do this. If you, it's almost like I just heard <laughs> spirit just said, if you smelt it, you dealt it. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> if you smelt it, you dealt it. Therefore, if you smell it, clean it up. Okay. If it smells shitty, take care of it. Don't wait for somebody else to do it because you might be waiting forever. So it's saying, but it's time for you to go. What else do we got here? We've got orphaned. Yep. For some of you, you felt orphaned. You felt like you had no other choice. Time to go and orphaned. For some of you, because of those childhood wounds, you had to go off on your own. It was almost like, you know, or not even just the childhood wounds, just the wounding of the past. It was like enough was enough and you had to move on. And I feel, you know, there is a grieving process when we have to walk away from people, places, and things that we love. People, places, and things that we put a lot of emphasis and energy into. And then we start to realize like, oh shit, this isn't going anywhere. So what I'm getting with these cards, because we have also the between the worlds. It's like what I've been talking about. We're not fully out of like, all this healing that we still had to do, you know, we still have some more residual energy that needs to be like, hurry up and release it, right? But you can't fake it with the universe. So any type of like 
confusion, sadness, uh, emptiness, misunderstandings, all of those things. It's like you're ending all of that and you're moving into this new realm. So what did I say that the new realm is? It's material manifestation, okay? So some of you are packing your bags, all right? I'm seeing you packing your bags. You've realized, you know, some zebras never change their stripes and you've decided to go off, maybe for some of you back to your past, you could go back to a place that you used to live before. For some of you, maybe you are going back to a parent, moving back into your mom and dad's house or moving back to a town that you lived in prior. Um, and so, but maybe for some of you, it's like you, you would have rather not have to do this, but I almost feel like there was a monkey wrench thrown in in order to get you to go into a different direction. And so, yeah, you're going to have to leave some things behind, but you know, it's time for you to start seeing things from a different perspective. Stop looking at all the things that you're losing and start looking at the things that you're gaining. Okay. So there is a grieving process though. Like, you know, when you, when you lose a job, there's financial abandonment. You know what I mean? When you, when you have to walk away from a home that you were really hoping that you were going to live there for the rest of your life, you know, there's a disappointment in all that, all of that. But I feel like regardless of your feelings towards it, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to pack your bags and it's time for you to get moving. And for some of you, it's almost like you're not able to see the forest through the trees because you're still so busy, again, looking at all the things you're losing and oh, you know, and listen, that's just part of the trauma from your childhood that you still need to work through. If these things are triggering you when the universe is, but if you have like, haven't looked around, we are all refugees right now. Every single fucking person is a refugee, okay? Our borders, we don't have borders, you know? And, and I don't give a fuck what country. You got people coming over the border from every fucking country. They're draining prisons, you know? Uh, people are trying to run away from countries where, you know, their, their government's trying to wipe them out, which, I mean, ours is too. I don't know where our sanctuary city is, but, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, we're all refugees. So for those of you who haven't gotten the memo, look around. You know, we're all being kind of shifted. You're going to break up with that job and move over here. You're going to break up with that person and you're going to go over here now and be with this person. You're going to go be single for a while because you haven't been single at all since you left your parents' house. You know, like you're going to go and do this. I need you to go over here because there's people you need to meet and somebody you're going to end up helping well, you know, it's like, we're all, and you just need to go. You know, I used to, I remember, you know, when, cause I like my stability. I'm a Virgo, 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 Virgo. I want to plan for this shit, but the universe doesn't, isn't that nice. It's like, it, you know, yanks you and makes you go here. And then it yanks you and makes you go there. And, and yes, like at first I would go like, it, it would drive me insane. Like I would go into a frenzy and go into a depression just like this orphan card here. Because again, I'm orphaning again, another place. I'm abandoning again, another, you know, another home and my stability. But at the end of the day, I, I finally realized like if the universe is doing this, it's not doing it to punish us. And so we need to get out of our own way. Okay. And maybe for some of you, you know, that's because maybe you were a military brat when you were a kid and you never got to stay anywhere more than, you know, a few months to a year. Or, you know, maybe your parents were less fortunate and unfortunately, every time you got a home, you know, they weren't able to pay the bills and you had to move again. For some of you, maybe this has to do with the fact that maybe you were adopted or you were in foster care, so you didn't have stability. So any type of changes is going to create some type of uh, inside of you. But the more the universe does it and the more they trigger you, it's not to fuck with you. It's to get that fear out of you so that you can just be excited to run through that new door, okay? So with the between the worlds, it's like you're walking out of all of this darkness and it's like out of the darkness comes the light. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just you haven't seen it yet and you're not going to see it until after Mercury goes direct and we have that Uranus Jupiter conjunction, which we're coming into. As the overall energy, we do have the number 12 here. 12 is connected to the hanged man energy. So this is about needing to see things from a completely different perspective. Okay. So 
I feel like it's needing to see that this isn't a punishment. This is like actually helping you. Listen, a lot of the times people think, oh, the universe got it wrong. The universe didn't get shit wrong. The universe knows what it's doing and you're just being asked to trust and have faith, okay? And I think after the last few fucking years that we've had, again, since 2020, even though the world is in chaos and disarray and we're all just sitting here going, what the fuck happened? We're all like, you've had to realize that no matter how bad things got on the outside, you were always taken care of behind the scenes. The universe made sure that you had food on the table or a bed to sleep in or, you know, whatever, depending on your pride, obviously. So we do have the number 12, which adds to a three. And we also have the number three here, which is connected to the empress. And the empress, again, is the mother here. So we've got the mother and the child. So maybe for some of you, you're feeling uh, abandoned by a parent, maybe a parent crossed over, okay? And now you're having to, you know, move on with life um, with now without this person here. But it was time for them to go. Again, they needed to be out of your life. For others of you, maybe you're estranged from a parent or a child, vice versa. You know, obviously, if you're estranged from one, they're estranged from you too. But I do feel like, again, sometimes this is, you know, people setting healthy boundaries and other times this just really has to do with ego. And I think that boundaries, boundaries, boundaries get, you know, thrown into the mix with all this spiritual, um, you know, I almost feel like it's gaslighting. There's a lot of spiritual gaslighting because you hear all these people talk about setting healthy boundaries. And sometimes it's not even boundaries, just sometimes you're just being an asshole and then you use the word boundaries. But I don't think a lot of people really know what that actually entails. I think that people are just angry and they use the word boundaries as, you know, so I feel like, you know what, sit down and talk with somebody about that to see if maybe you're just being an asshole. Okay. And sometimes that can be what it is. Maybe you have a, a, a boundary up that doesn't necessarily need to be there, but what you're doing is you're blocking out other people. And because of that blocking them out, and again, this doesn't just have to be with a parent or a child. It could be with a friend. It could be with you know, a family member, it could be with your work, it could be with anything, okay? But it is asking you to really look at your boundaries and ask yourself, maybe are your boundaries a little too high? Or maybe do you not have enough boundaries? Everybody's going to be a, something different, okay? And some of you are on point, others of you are a little off kilter. I've seen a lot of people go, oh, I'm setting boundaries. And I'm like, no, you're blocking yourself from actually really good things from coming in. So it's like once you unblock that, then all the things that you have been wanting can actually penetrate that space. So for those of you who are estranged from a family member, right? Like really ask yourself, is this family member really that bad? Or did they just say something that you didn't like? Or did they strike a nerve or trigger you in some way? That doesn't mean that they're a toxic or a bad fucking person. That just means that you are sensitive and we have a bunch of, you know, weenies running around this fucking world today. And that's what the world, you know, everything is being created for all of these sissies who can't handle people who are very point blank and put, you know, just say what they mean and mean what they say. Now it's you're toxic if you say something against, you know, something that people want to believe in, you know? So I think that people really need to kind of look at that because that's what I'm really getting out of all of this. So what else does our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors have to say? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Um, for those of you who have a mother crossed over, I do feel like the mother is um, trying to make, uh, make contact with you, okay? You could be having dreams about this mother or maybe you've been talking more about your mother who has crossed over. Um, or maybe for some of you, you're just feeling abandoned by the mother, okay? All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors from the pure white light, what, what advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? Spirit, please show me what advice, what advice do we have for the collective based off of what we see here today? Okay, we got two cards out. So we got Archangel Roquiel, 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 okay, 
Sorry if I butchered it, but it says enter higher planetary service, be a blazing light. Okay. I'm going to read that card here in a second. And then we also have Archangel Uriel come into harmony and balance. Use your, use your power for peace. Okay. So make sure that, you know, if you're going to do this, if you're block, if you're cutting people off, don't let it be in vain. It's like, you know, for me, I've had to cut people off and just be like, you know, I choose me, but I don't let it be in vain. Okay. What I do is make sure that I'm continuing, continuously putting my nose to the grindstone, building my legacy, making a better life for myself, regardless of everybody else's feelings towards me or what I'm doing. That's me. I don't, and at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what people think about me. I don't care anymore. Like I used to give a shit and that was part of my wounding because I was taught that I needed to give more of a shit than I, than I should have. Okay. So I want to read, uh, Raquel. I hope that's, I hope that's how I say it. You guys, I apologize if I'm, um, butchering it. So the guidance of this card is it calls you to higher planetary service in a way that illuminates you as you serve. It suggests you bring light down through your 12, 12 chakras and then mentally connect with Archangel Raquel and send the energy through the ley lines. Then form bridges of light to the great pyramids of earth and the stars. See earth and the cosmos light up with the pure gold golden light. It is important to make sure you are grounded and receptive through this process for pure energy from this archangel is now streaming back up through you, lighting you up, be a blazing flame radiating in all directions. And then we have Uriel here and I, I do love Archangel Uriel. Oh, I opened it right to him. It talks about choosing this card suggests that you are ready to come into harmony and balance. Call on Archangel Uriel to help your inner wisdom emerge and guide you through any challenges or situations presented to you. You are reminded that when wisdom is your guide, the outcome will always be for the highest good and you will feel totally safe and secure. This card also suggests it is time to be a peace ambassador. So examine situations from an enlightened perspective. This will enable your light to become peaceful and golden. Archangel Uriel commands a host of peace angels because of free will. They need humans to direct them. So send them to soothe people and situations everywhere. You can also send your golden peace light out into the universe. Okay. So there's that golden peace light. It's maybe it's you that's needing to shine the light for others so that they can come out of that darkness. You know, I have so many people, you know, that it's like, I can help you, you know, schedule a session. I'm here. Like I want to help shine the light on it, but there needs to be an exchange of energy, you know? And so right now there's a lot of changes that are shifting for the collective. For some people, they're going back to their past. Other people, it's like that you, maybe you have walls up way too high that people cannot jump over and they're not the Kool-Aid man. They can't run right through it. Okay. So it's really important now that we also communicate it's time for communication. People can't read your freaking mind. You need to also communicate with your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors so that they can help you along the way. Otherwise, you're just going to be spinning in circles. When you talk to your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, they're more apt to sending you the people, places, and things that you need in order to get you out of whatever this funk is and help you on your journey so that you are not confused and that you are stepping into that light, okay? So I really like this reading for you guys. I'm gonna leave that here. I wanna thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.